everybody, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to be making my shop hammer and you might be asking yourself, Kyle, don't you already have hammers? Oh, like, like this one? Well, yeah, this, it's a hammer, but uh, nah. We don't need that. We need a bigger, more robust hammer because well, we're gonna be hitting stuff a lot. You want something nice, right? So, let's get into it. Starting out this project, I'm using 3 8 inch rebar. And to begin, I wanted to clean all the pieces up right away. So I didn't have to worry about it once it was all cut up into little pieces. With that all cleaned up, I moved on to cutting the piece for the actual handle to mount to the head. I didn't feel like going out and buying a pipe, so luckily I had a jack sitting in the corner that doesn't work anymore, so I just cut a piece of that off and we were all good to go. With that done, it was time to throw the layout on all my rebar pieces. I wanted my finished hammerhead to be roughly five inches long, so I cut everything a little bit long so I could grind it all back after I got it all welded up and put together. The full length pieces are that 5 inch, but the pieces that will go around the collar, I'll call it, uh, I cut to 2 inches a piece. Moved on to cleaning all the paint off my donated chunk of handle, because I wanted it clean and prepped up for when I actually welded it. Even though I'm going to go back later and grind the edge of the hammerhead, I felt it necessary to go through each individual piece and round off the edges because I thought it was a good idea at the time, but in hindsight it was probably just kind of a waste of time since I was grinding the whole thing anyways. With that done, I was ready to start assembling all the pieces. I started out by putting together the beginning base layer, and I wanted to make sure I had all of the grooves on the first layer relatively straight and put together nice because that is going to end up being the top outside of the hammerhead, so I'll try to have it look, you know, nice. With that first layer all tacked together, I went ahead and welded all of the seams. Now 
Now every piece that I add after I tack it in, I will put a weld all the way across the inside because I want it to be a pretty solid brick when I'm done. So I will be welding in between each individual piece all the way through. I noticed as I was going along that the corners where the inside pieces met the pipe weren't quite tight so I had to fill the gaps that were created as I went up the whole way through. You might notice that I keep grabbing the piece to move it around. Well, because I'm super impatient, I did this continuously, so the piece got just ridiculously hot and, well, I'm stubborn and didn't want to stop and let it cool down, so I just tried to touch it as little as possible. Because I was welding every piece in as I went, a couple of them didn't fit quite perfectly, so I just pulled out the grinder and beveled down the edge a little bit so I could get a better fit on it. At this point, it got to a temperature where I just didn't want to touch it anymore at all, so I was using my welper to move it around. For the final weld, I wanted to try and do a cool darkened shot of me actually welding it, but because it was the first time I've ever tried it, I made the mistake of putting my camera directly above where I was welding, so unfortunately the smoke blocks a lot of it, but I learned my lesson, so the next time I do it, we'll go with a better angle and it should come out a lot better. But at least my welds are looking good. With the head all cooled down and ground flat, it was time to mount the actual handle. I'm using a one-hand practice bat, which I gave to my uncle who turned it down in his lathe so it would fit nice and snug on the head. Honestly, I just thought it would look really cool to have a baseball bat handle on a hammer, so I wanted to make it a thing. With it on and all ready to go. I grabbed a wedge and pounded that in. I also have a round hammer wedge sitting on the table that I will pound in to the top to lock everything into place. There was a little extra sticking out when I was done. So I just grabbed a cutoff wheel, shaved down the extra of the actual handle, and then pounded the wedge in the rest of the way. I was so excited to actually assemble the hammer that I forgot to clean the whole thing before I put it back on. 
So after I was done, I grabbed my wire wheel and just polished it all up a little bit. And of course, I found a BB, so I had to get rid of that too. So that wraps everything up for the shop hammer. It's ready to use. It's all polished, all nice and pretty. People were telling me that I showed this to that isn't that a bit heavy? Is it a little excessive? <laughs> oh no. You want to see excessive? Come back next time because I'm making a much, much bigger hammer. So if you like what I do here, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. It really helps. And we'll see you in the next one.